So let's visit pillar two to understand uh, what, what it's all about. Now we showed earlier that pillar two is top down. So that means it's there to address specific challenges and opportunities. It goes from roughly TRL3 to TRL7, and there are two types of grants, the research and innovation action, doing laboratory research, and innovation actions, more prototypes, demonstrations. Uh, we can see here that you need a consortium. And there are six clusters, and you can see that the total budget is 53.8 billion. Now, when you look at the documents, each of these clusters has a work program and they vary in size from 300 up to 500 pages. The cluster four is over 500 pages. So you need to learn how to read uh, these work programs. And the clusters are divided into destination sections. And what you're looking for is a topic. So when you're presenting opportunities in pillar two, it's much more difficult than pillar one because in pillar one, you put in anything you like. But here you have to say, well, my proposal fits into topic, whatever. So we'll, we'll have a look at how this is actually structured. And the clusters are there uh, to support the European policies and the distant, for example, the Green Deal, where specific policies might support something like biodiversity in the marine or whatever. I'm not going to spend much time on this, but you can see cluster one is perfect for researchers in the area of health, staying healthy in a rapidly changing society. But it also suits the, if you look at cluster destination five, it's for information technology. Now, this is a over a 400 page document. And on, on the uh, portal, you can download this document and I'll show you how to analyze this particular document. Cluster two of pillar two is perfect for social science and humanities. And we can see here research and democracy, culture, culture and heritage, the creative industries, and also social and economic transformations dealing with migration, social welfare systems. So this is ideal for social science and humanities people. Cluster three is dealing with security, terrorism, uh, cyber security. So they're asking you, could you apply any of your expertise towards security? Uh, cluster four is over 500 pages long, and it looks at everything from manufacturing, digital technologies. But for the social scientists, have a look at destination six, a human-centered and ethical development of digital and industrial technology. So even within these programs, there are opportunities for social scientists uh, to, to find topics relevant, relevant to them. Cluster five looks at climate, energy, and mobility. And my, by mobility, they mean road, rail, uh, aeronautics, water, and it also deals with, uh, with space. And cluster six then looks at things like bioeconomy, food, natural resources, agriculture, and the environment. So part of the challenge facing scientists is okay, which cluster, uh, which destination, which topic, and this is why support staff are there uh, to help you to deal with this, with this kind of a search. Now, when you read a work program, it can be anything, as I said, from 300 to 500 uh, pages long. So the first thing you look at is it's cluster six. Then you look at the destination, and you see biodiversity and ecosystems. And th then you look at the section is dealing with biodiversity decline. And then you find the topic. So, you know, when you're reading the work program, you just don't go straight to the topic. You must read the background to each uh, particular section. And then when you're writing a proposal, you will say it's addressing topic horizon CL621. So when you're making your presentation at the workshop, that's the information uh, you would provide. You can't just say I'm in cluster six. You have to in, identify the topic that's relevant relevant to you. Now, this is an example of the, the work program on cluster six. And when you, re, when you go on, you see the destination biodiversity. You can see the topic here. And then when you go to the um, 
the details of the topic, it, it, it explains what it's there. But the question you need to ask is, who wrote this topic? What's the background to this topic, which we're going to look at in module in module five. Now, in pillar two, there is something called missions. Now, this is a new concept in Horizon Europe. Uh, the Commission is doing an experiment about looking at large challenges, for example, cancer, climate change, healthy oceans and rivers, smart cities, uh, clean soil and healthy food. And they set up boards which were supported by uh, mission assemblies. And in September 2020, the boards produced documents uh, called the Mission Board Reports. And the Commission is using these to identify research topics in the program. So if any of those areas are relevant to you, on the course website, you can find those particular reports. So this is a new experiment. And you'll see in module five that this is a very, very valuable uh, source of ideas of who wrote the topic. You'll see this, this will feed into the work program. So we'll return to this in module, in module five. Now in pillar two, there are also things called European partnerships. Now, when you hear the words European partnerships, you have to say, this is a mixture of national and European funding. And in the following six slides, I, I've listed uh, the partnerships. Now, these are topics within the clusters. But when you look at them, like Innovative Health uh, Initiative is a mixture of national, European, and private funding. And you have rare diseases here, which is uh, member states coming together to mix European and national funding uh, looking at rare diseases. So I've included these in the notes uh, so that when you identify topics that are relevant to you, if you're a small country, then you have to check, is your country supporting participation in these? So there's a slightly uh, different approach that the national, national funding may be a requirement to participate in. So these are ones dealing with digital. Uh, these are the climate, energy, and mobility programs. And also here, food bioeconomy and the resources. So just the, the point is, it's good to highlight which partnership is there uh, can, uh, uh, when you participate. So when you read the work program, uh, you'll see these in their file. And the last 49 then are the, um, the kicks.